Hello, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Previously, that Bacoblin killed me, and I'm going to kill him today with fire. Bacoblins really do not like fire. See? Oh, he fell straight in the water. Damn you! Ah, oh, he... Use his shield like a good idiot. Ah. Ooh, my spear broke. Take that and that and that. And that guy's shooting electric arrows at me, it seems. Haha, he dropped his things. Ooh, spike blo boko club. Reinforced. Spoken club to maximize damage. Sharpened bones jabbed into it make a brutal weapon. And he fell in the water. Oh, I can't pick up that shield. Right, you mate are a problem I need to deal with. Without getting shot. Yeah, like that. Whoop, missed. Don't want him to hit me. If he hits me, he's going to kill me in one go. Got one of you. Glad I bought these extra arrows. Wish I'd have bought more now. Oh, I thought there was a chest. Aha! There was a chest. A metal chest. It's now mine. Here we go. Soldier's spear. Excellent. Ah, oh, I can't carry it. This is broken anyway, so... Whoop. I just had a thought. You remember this? Yes, you can use it anywhere. So I can use it to recover those bits and pieces. Which just fell straight back into the water. Good, that was pointless. And I've created a magical thing there that... Hang on. That waterfall lit up. Can this defy the laws of physics? I think it can. I'll have to test that as we get closer. Big twin bridge. This bridge is uh, ramshackle and very disappointing. And apparently skeletons grow out of it. Skeletons who must be killed with the cheapest weapon available. Uh, rusty claymore, that'll do. In the water you go, mate. Oh no, you didn't quite fall in the water, so... Splat. Ooh, another weapon. Can't pick it up. I have those, though. Yep. And we're gone. Hey, that must be the stables. Ah! Goat! Die, goat! Death to goats. Rewarded with meat. Another shrine, you say? Yeah, there's somebody looking at it. Hello. Ah, this is the life. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travellers passing through here. Sagisa. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget the world almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be travelling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Yeah, that keeps popping up on the menu. What's it talking about? Ah. You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, raise your resistance to extreme temperatures, I'm actually impressed that you made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. Mm. I can't have them on, on my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Hasty elixir, low level haste effects, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming or climbing. Use the hasty elixir, it increases your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies any time I need to hurry. <laughs> Recipe is just a high tail lizard and monster part, so I usually have a stock of 10 or so on hand. Huh. I feel like I just met a more experienced player. Now, there's a bit of a problem with this. 
closet surrounded by spikes. Who put these here and why? However, it is in water, so I can make myself one of these. There. Climb up it. Oh, climb up it, I said. Damn it, Link. And then jump off. Just use the parasail for double sureness. Not sure how I'm going to get back out, but that's a future Link problem. He's good at solving those problems. Okay, let's see what madness lies within. And hope the camera doesn't do what it just did again. Okay. Lizalfos. As carnivores, they eat meat, fish, and even insects. Is that what those things were that beat me up earlier? I managed to kill the first one I met, though. That's uh, an achievement. You who, oh, you all say the same thing, but your name is Hadahammer. Hadahammer? Does this involve a hammer? The water guides. The water guides. Oh, right. I thought it was like a brownie guides group. <laughs> <laughs> That's mental. That doesn't make any sense at all. Can I climb it? No. Didn't drown, though. I just stand in it and do this. Yep. Okay, good. Wow. Who's paying for all this? That's what I want to know. Yep. Another one. There we go. When it flashes like that, it means you can't cast. Okay, cool. Big ball. And a big hole that's glowing. Right. Very big elaborate staircase with nothing at the top of it. Okay, good. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, damn it. I. Would it kill them to put a handrail in this place? It's like the Death Star in here. Must watch my hearts. Okay. Can I... Yeah, there doesn't appear to be a limit on the range of this thing. That accomplished nothing. Right, smash that one. Put one there. No, nope, wrong button. Oh, that kind of did something, and it immediately fell. Okay. Another one there-ish. You may have heard of this type of person called a speedrunner. A speedrunner is something that I am not. Hey. Ah, right. Need a third one. There. That should do it. Ha <laughs> It worked. Stairs are for people who do not own a paraglider. Which I got for a fair trade, I think. I mean, it's just a bit of cloth and some twigs. Give me things. Your soul, specifically. You have a slightly different pose to the last person. And now you're gone. Two. Oh, I refilled my health. Cheers, bye. Remote bombs. Useful not only for dealing damage to monsters, but it can also be used to break rocks and weak walls. Hmm. Next. Dodging attacks. When targeting an enemy... Execute a backflip by holding L down and pressing X. And I missed the rest of the text. Oh good, the spikes have vanished. That's convenient for me. Right, let's just wade through this and ask for directions at the stables. 
Man, those shadows are crazy at this time of night. Yeah, it seems to have its own theme tune. Dueling Peak Stable. Hey! You can give me directions. Ah, good. Give me directions, hey. please. Renza, welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, huh? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. I just noticed I'm stood at a very odd height. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So, where are you heading? Both Kakarino and Hatino Village are nearby. Wild horses? Did you not see any horses on your way here? No. Certainly not as many in, as in years past, but there's still quite a few around. Horses in the wild are, well, wild. No one has trained or cared for them. If you manage to cat one, catch one, let my brother Tasseran know. He'll register the horse for you. Register it? My boys are wellsprings of information about horses, so feel free to pick their brains. Leave it to Renza to tell you about the roads around this area. Okay, so I'll ask... Oh, you're Renza, okay. Kakariko Village is where I'm headed. Village where the Sheikah clan lives. Oh, they're still in business. Said that some time ago they had advanced techniques that were more powerful than anything anyone had ever seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find a big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path and you'll come to Kakariko Village Gate. Cheers. Bye. Everything looks just as it always had, but the effects of the great calamity still linger. For example, a lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. It is night time right now. Okay. Who are you? Hmm. He you know. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. Blood Moon? No. You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. What clock? I've not seen a clock anywhere. At that moment, monsters had been previously defeated that had been previously defeated will come back to life. What? And that's why it's known as the Blood Moon. Why do monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to these questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Where, what color is the moon now? What's that on top of the thing? Something moving up there. I'm going to go and examine it. Can I climb up here? Yep. Yes, I can. You wouldn't have thought so, but here I go. Um, can I climb up here? They've made a tent shaped like a horse's head. This is a really bizarre thing when you think about it, but at least you can see it from a distance. Have you even done the um, thing harness that the horse wears? What? How very odd. What the heck is going on here? Examine. Oh, it's another one of you things, and you're flying this time. And you gave me another seed. And you say very little else. Can I set you on fire? I want to. Okay, so I'm going to come clean. These guys first appeared in the Wind Waker, and they looked exactly the same, but they all had names, dialogue, and things to say. But in this game, they just give you seeds. I don't quite know what their deal is. But there's thousands of them. Well, not thousands, but 900. 
which is a lot. Hey, horses. Hello. You're all pink. Apart from you, you're brown, which is fine. Oh, a doggy. Hello, doggy. Who's a good doggy? Can I pet you? Oh, I can't pet the dog. Minus a million points game. That's rude. Although he likes me. That's nice. Can I give you a treat? Some raw meat. I killed this goat. Do you want it? Oh, he's walking in a circle, as a dog should. Om nom nom nom. Wow, that is a lot of meat for a small dog. And it's just gone. Cool, I have a friend. You gonna follow me? A farmer's pitchfork. Some wood. A torch. Some apples. And a place to go. Oh, it's raining again. Blech. Hey, tame goats. And chickens. I like this place. What's this? A woodcutter's axe. I'm going to go inside. Looks like everybody else got the same idea. Oh, there's a child sleeping. Hey, those guys have exclamation marks above their heads. Where are they gone? Prison. I've got the scoop on Misko's treasure. And listen up, Dak. Prison, hang on. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude in listening to our conversation, are you? Well, you won't be quiet. We're treasure hunters on the trail of the latest score. The treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Huh? You're going to give it all away. Ah. Sorry, I get carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Okay. Uh. Hello. You look to be sleeping soundly. Wake up! I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Oh, I see, yes. Wow! Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me travelling all over Hyrule to fulfil your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travellers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things, if you're in need of rupees. Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? What have you got? <laughs> sure I have something you'll find useful? Please take a good look. I will have all of the arrows, please. That will be 60 rupees. Cheers. Uh, can I take all of them too? You don't have enough money. Oh, that's embarrassing. What can I sell you? What would you like to sell? Um, you can have this beetle if you want. Four rupees? No. Too bad. Um, can I have an opal? Sixty. Cheers. That's all, thanks. Thanks for business. Do you need anything else? No. Hope to see you again soon. Right, so Beedle again, he first appeared in The Wind Waker and again in Skyward Sword. And in some of the Game Boy games as well, I think. Oh, it's you again, we spoke outside. It's like you don't like getting wet. Oh, saddles! What you doing? Hey! Welcome! Will you be staying with us? What, this is a place I can sleep? Regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. Soft bed is 40. What's a soft bed? <laughs> oh. Soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the stable. Cost more than regular bed, but you'll wake up more energised. Will you be staying with us? It is 20 past 5 in the morning, so I'll be leaving now. Another time, perhaps. Ah. You have a warp point right outside, so you'll probably see me again. Oh, Who's talking now? I can give you directions. What's with the explanation mark? Oh. They're wild, so till you calm them, it's going to be a crazy ride. But there's no qu feeling quite like taming a wild stallion. Trust me, I took second place in the Hyrule horse taming competition. Mm. Hey, I saw that look you gave me. 
Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me, right here, right now. You want to challenge the second place Hyrule Taming Contest winner to a tame-off? You got it, mister. Okay. That's a spirit. The only rule is you must bring a wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. The area is chock full of wild horses. Your eyesight's better than mine, mate. I can't see a thing out there. Any one of them will do. My record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring back a wild horse within that time. Ah. Prepare for extreme taming. Oh, there is an actual timer. He's not joking. Right. We are sneaking up on a thing, but we don't need weapons, so I'll move quietly without them equipped. I don't know where Link puts them, and I'd rather not know, to be honest. But, um, we're going to find a horse. We're going to do it without a weapon. Uh, he said this way, didn't he? I see nothing. I see no horses whatsoever. I see no life whatsoever. This is quite divided of horses. And monsters, but I don't have my weapons equipped. I feel like I'm going to have to wait until this... Aha! Horses! Yes, those are horses, alright. Okay, let's see if we can't spook them. And I suppose you just run up and jump on top of one. Sneak up, I suppose. See how close I can get. I'll get the one at the back. A little out, out of game knowledge. I happen to know that the painted horses and the multicolored ones are the easier ones to tame. But this one's closer, so. Mount! Whoa! Soothe! 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 Ah, damn it! That was exhausting. How far do they run? Okay, he's not run that far. I thought he was going to despawn or something like the pigs do. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> Have I got anything to boost my stamina? Yes. Oh, that just restores my stamina. I think I need an elixir to do this properly. Sneaking, sneaking. Soothe, soothe. Soothe, stop and eat that. A little more soothing. Ah, the horse loves me. Fantastic. Ooh, and it's moving where I want it to. Ah, damn it. Ran into a wall. Ah, I ran out of time. Time's up. Better luck than that time. I got the horse. Ha! <laughs> Breaking the two-minute mark is pretty tough, right? Don't get discouraged. I mean, it took me years of practice to play second in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. I'm going to try again, but with... Um... What? <laughs> what do they say? Nay, it's nay. Aww. Hey, Shibo. You think this nosy guy right here is interested in horses? Looks like it to me, Darton. Judging from his eyes, he's just itching to get into the saddle. You're right. He's got eyes that just say, like, nothing in this world matters to me except horses. That means... That means... That means we've got ourselves a customer. Howdy, Mr. Man. Thanks. Welcome to Dueling Park stable, Peak Stables. Or welcome to the front of Dueling Park peak stables, I guess. You really can tell just by looking into his eyes. Bro, his head is just filled with horse stuff, right? That's right, just look at his eyes. Right now in his head it's full of horses. Horses, horses, food and horses, right? In that case, you should feel free to ask us anything at all about horses. Do you want to hear some tips to help your, you master your horse? Yay or nay? I didn't think of that joke, by the way. That's one of Dad's jokes. Um, I've already managed to catch a horse. What's a good horse? Ooh. Horses with spots on them are even-tempered and easy to train. On the other hand, horses that are all one color, color like a straight black or white, are a bit more wild and harder to train. Ooh. But 
a one colour horse has more stamina and runs faster, right? Dad said they're hard to handle at first, but if you spend a lot of time with a one colour horse, you'll be best buds. Dad also said that beginners should start with spotted horses. When I grow up, I'll ride a one colour horse though. <laughs> you get all that? <laughs> Just leave the horsing around to us. Okay, I'm done talking to you little weirdos. My dad is the second best horse guy. Yeah, I know. Very impressive, considering there's about 20 people in the world. Right, I need to cook something, but it's raining, so I'm going to have to wait. But I need a fire to wait. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I can't start a fire in here, they'll get very upset. Is that a new guy? Who are you? You ever been to Kakariko Village? They've got great food and great clothes, but it ain't cheap. I'm selling a few things I've picked up on my travels. Don't cost a look. You're right, it doesn't. Oh. It's my finest stuff. Ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. Energetic Rhino Beetle, 150 rupees. Wow. Can live up to 10 years when cooked with monster parts makes an impressive vitality. Its impressive vitality translates into an elixir that will greatly restore your stamina. Hmm. Staminoka bass. Hyrule bass has got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. Its long life results in a cooked dish that will restore a lot of stamina. Got that. Bright eyed crab. Appears in large numbers when it rains. One bite of this delectable meat and you'll forget all exhaustion. Replenishes stamina. I don't. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, the rain stopped. Good. I can cook myself a stamina potion, I think. If I can only start a fire. Ah, there's some wood there. But it's not wood that I need, is it? It's flint. Are you going to set the fire going? Am I going to have to use a bow? Yep. Everybody, stand back. I'm about to do something really stupid. There you go, that worked. Right. Okay, monster parts and something to restore stamina. So that's to do with heat. Um, attack and the rest of the stuff doesn't really do anything to do with stamina good I'll have to do something with a mushroom that sounded odd cook it with an apple Not great. What if we just stick all these in a kebab? <laughs> Energizing mushroom skewer. Fully refills my stamina wheel. That'll do. Right. I need a horse before we move on. I'm not bothering with that guy's challenge. I'll do it in my own time. Imagine they're still over here. Unless the one I caught still counts as being mine. I'm whistling, but nothing's happening. That's how you summon your horse, by the way. Right, where are them horses at? I demand to own a horse. I know I can do it. But the game will decide that it's no longer my horse if that timer runs out. So I'm not bothering with the timer. They'll probably just give me some low level prize for it. Those are some pointy looking horses. Aha! Horse! Right, let's get a bit closer before we crouch. No, it's just the one horse. Looks like it's the same one I caught earlier, though. Let's sneak up on him. 
Oh, and some bokoblins across the river. Great. Right, and... Jump! Oh! Oh, it is my horse! Hooray! <laughs> Great. Now we have a horse. Wondered why I was by himself. You don't really just... Oh! Chill, mate. Chill. What are you doing? You're getting still a bit wild. Please, don't be so mean to me. I need to get you a saddle. What if I give you an apple or something? Would you like that? How do I stop this thing? Uh, brake. Stop. Horse. Good horse. Would you like... Oh, a carrot. Horses love carrots. If I hold this here, will you eat it? No. If I hold this here, will you eat it? Not interested? What if I drop it? Oh, he's doing what the dog did. And he's wandering off. Okay, I think I need to register him. Come on, dude, please. No, 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 horse, you're such a pain in the bum. <laughs> Here. Hello! Hey. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Huh, haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Do you have short term memory problems, mate? Ah. Allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. Sorry, I'm distracted by his mane. What's going on with that? You may have come across wild horses during your travel. Yes, I'm sat on one. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses. Wow. You'll be able to swap horses in and out as you please. Cool. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? Yes, I think that's clear. Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. Yes. So what will it be? I will register this horse. This one. New horse. Strength 1, speed, stamina 3, temperament, wild, bond 11. Hmm. Not a problem. We tried the res registration fee to help su support our conservation efforts. Fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees. Is that okay? Yeah. Cheers. Enter a name for your horse. Um, oh god. Oh, I wasn't expecting to have to do this. Uh, Binky. No, wait, not Binky. Bert. Bert the horse. Oh. Are you sure you want to name the horse Bert? What's wrong with Bert? Registration complete. Would you like to take your horse with you? Yes. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Oh, instant saddle and bridle. If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle it and it'll come running. Yes. Yep. Your horse isn't magic. If it can't hear you, if you're too far away, do keep that in mind. Cool. Now I have a horse. Well, if you have been... Thank you for watching. I've been Wilverine. This has been Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Say goodnight, Bert. Goodnight, Bert.